The Heirloom Seal of the Realm, also known as the Imperial Seal of China, is one of the most significant artifacts in Chinese history, embodying the authority and continuity of the Chinese emperors. Its history is intertwined with the rise and fall of dynasties, political intrigue, and the profound cultural heritage of China. The seal was created during the reign of the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang, in 221 BC. Qin Shi Huang is renowned for unifying China, establishing the Qin Dynasty, and commissioning the construction of the Great Wall. To symbolize his ultimate authority, he ordered the creation of the heirloom seal of the realm. The seal was carved from a piece of precious jade known as the Heshibi, which had a storied history of its own, having been offered to and fought over by various rulers before coming into possession of the Quinn. The heirloom seal was not merely a symbol of imperial power, but also a tool of governance. It was used to authenticate decrees and etiquette, imbuing them with the weight of the emperor's authority. The seal's inscription, written in eight ancient Chinese script reads, having received the mandate from heaven, may the emperor lead a long and prosperous life. This phrase underscores the traditional Chinese belief that the emperor's right to rule was divinely sanctioned, a concept known as the mandate of heaven. Throughout the centuries, the heirloom seal passed through the hands of numerous dynasties. Its possession was considered essential for the legitimacy of ruling an emperor. However, the seal's history is also marked by periods of loss and recovery, reflecting on the turbulent time that saw the rise and fall of various regimes. The first significant loss of the heirloom seal occurred during the chaotic period following the fall of the Qin dynasty. It was subsequently recovered and came into possession of the Han dynasty, which ruled from 206 BC to 220 AD. The seal remained with the Han emperors, symbolizing their divine right to rule and the continuity of their authority. After the fall of the Han dynasty, China entered a period of disutiny known as the Three Kingdoms period. During this time, the heirloom seal became a coveted prize amongst the competing fractions. It changed hands several times, often as part of political marriages or military conquests. The seal's whereabouts during this period are somewhat murky, but it is believed to have remained a potent symbol of imperial legitimacy. The seal's fate becomes even more uncertain during the tumultuous centuries that followed. The successive dynasties of the Jin, Southern and Northern, Su and Tang, all claim possession of the heirloom seal at various points, each using it to legitimise their rule. However, these records from these periods are incomplete, and it is unclear how continuously the seal was in imperial hands. The heirloom seal of the realm eventually found its way to the Song dynasty, which ruled from 960 AD to 1279 AD. The Song dynasty is known for its cultural and technological achievements, but it also faced constant threats from northern invaders. During the Jin Song Wars, the seal was lost once again. The Jin dynasty, which ruled parts of northern China, claimed to have recovered it, but the Mongol invasion of the 13th century led to further disarray. By the time of the Wan dynasty, founded by the Mongol leader Kublai Khan in 1271, the heirloom seal had become a legend. The Mongols, despite their conquest of China, did not seem to have recovered the seal. Its last recorded use was during the Northern Song Dynasty, and its fate thereafter remains a mystery. The loss of the heirloom seal of the realm symbolizes the end of the Nero. It was not just a jade artifact, but a profound cultural symbol representing the continuity and divine right of China's emperors. Its disappearance marks the passing of a tangible link to the ancient past, a relic that once legitimized the rule of emperors who shaped the course of Chinese history. Today, the legend of the heirloom seal continues to captivate historians and treasure hunters alike. Its story is a poignant reminder of the fragility of human endeavours and the enduring allure of lost treasures. The seal's creation is used by successive dynasties and its ultimate disappearance escalates the rise and fall of one of the world's most oldest and enduring civilizations.